We are at Sunset Studios recording my new album, Our Time. The idea for me really was to create something a bit more modern and something a bit more piano driven. The reason why I called it Our Time was because I really felt that I was part of a new generation of South African artists, a new collective. And it really is our time, the baton is being passed to us. It's been a great privilege to work with Bukani Dyer and to have someone that's on the same wavelength as you and really has the same kind of vision. He's the producer of the album and he also plays piano on it and he's arranged some of the horns and he's really brought the vision to life beyond my expectations. He really has a foot in the past in terms of old traditional jazz as well as more modern forms of jazz such as Robert Glasper or Gretchen Parlato or Soweto Kish. The album also features Benjamin Jifter on electric bass, Marlon Vidboy on drums, Jenku on bass and Kisangwa on drums for some of the tracks, Ricardo Moretti from Italy, Warm Hellfield from Norway on guitar, Sia Charles on trombone, Justin Baez on alto saxophone and James McClure on flugelhorn and trumpet. And Jits Fungit from Cape Town uh, is adding a bit of a colloquial flair on the album, uh, making it proudly Cape Townian. When I met Jits Fungit, we just connected. He's a poet and he really speaks of how we grew up, which I think for me was really important to pay tribute to that part of my culture. I write a lot of music about experiences and I am was really speaking of heritage, ancestry, which was for my gran. I grew up in a very musical household. My dad plays alto sax. My mom also sings really, really well. And my grandmother always had music playing, always encouraging me to sing and to have music as part of my life. Just like that, you were out of this world, a bird that couldn't be heard, like the night when the day is dawning. When I was 16, when my dad introduced me to Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Nancy Wilson, and I thought, wow, this is like music that's got such a strong heritage. And I just naturally found myself gravitating to that music. Jazz just feels like home. Day by day, I'm trying to just understand how time took you out of my hands like a thief with a precious jewel. You taught me mind without lifting a fist. You told me I should always persist, lift my voice to the blaring wireless. Music is like oxygen for me. I, I wake up in the morning and I have to listen to music. And all different kinds of music. I don't believe in listening to only one genre. I think music is always about energy, art's about energy. Music specifically is about a frequency and a vibration. So when they say good vibes, it really is good vibrations. There's a dream far beyond the outer realms of time. Music really helps you find a secret world in which you can escape, in which you can create a whole new reality. Far beyond the universe. 
just grasp So when I have you in my arms Nothing compares It's like I'm on a year in I think music has always been the most faithful lover, friend, companion, warm blanket when things have gone spectacularly wrong in my life. But it's also been there for me at the most joyous times. And spiritually, I think it links you directly with the divine and with a sense of that there must be something greater than ourselves out there. You're so close, even my own skin feels far away. I'm very lucky that I've got really beautiful musicians that I work with all around the world. Where I feel a strong sense of safety, but not too safe, because you know, jazz is not about being safe. It's about taking risks. It's about being on the edge. There's one line in, in Wicked Ways where it says, never clever ever, living one foot on the ground. And I, I think that really best describes me. Under, undercover, break, I think I'll have a when you're not happy in, in a certain situation or in life, you're restless, you're looking, you're searching. The happiness inside my brain. Wicked Ways was really about my hunt for happiness. Childish joys that were my toys, but only I I don't want people to feel like anyone can pull them back down to earth with this album. It's sneaky, which is really what I wanted. You know, menacing. I want people to dance, I want people to cry, I want people to make love, and I hope that this album will be even more of a soundtrack to their lives. <laughs> Oh my God, Shane, you're killing me! We are making jazz hip. We are making it more accessible. We are saying, yes, we respect the tradition and we honor the tradition, but we are using it as a tool to forge onwards and invite you guys to come along on the ride with us. Oh.